Since the first phase trial of an HIV vaccine was conducted in the United States in 1987, more than 30 candidate vaccines have been tested in over 70 phase 1 and 2 clinical trials in both industrialized and developing countries. While there has not been a final vaccine developed from the previous global efforts to find a cure for HIV and AIDS, African scientists with support of US aid are taking the lead in a new initiative to eliminate the virus. The project is led by African scientists. The work has to be done by African scientists. And Uganda is one of those countries that are going to participate and we are very proud. It comes at a time the Ministry of Health and Health Experts are worried about the high number of new infections in Uganda, turning at 52,000 annually. An effective vaccine, prevention vaccine, will definitely reduce the number of people who acquire HIV, but also will reduce the number of people who can transmit what? Who can transmit HIV. But also will translate in terms of economics because all the money which government is spending currently will be transferred to other development which the country needs. The executive director of the Joint Clinical Research Center, Dr. Sisi Chicho Mutuluza, says the biggest challenge to vaccine development has been funding, but the country has enough capacity and is ready. So there is advancement in what is being done, in how vaccines are being developed. Even when we talk about HIV prevention vaccines, we can actually use what we call gene therapy. We are looking at gene therapy for cure of HIV, but we can also use gene therapy as a vaccine for HIV prevention. I'm sure with the capacity we have at JCRC, I want to really assure you that something will come out that will take us to another level. Meanwhile, the Deputy Executive Director of the Makere University Walter Reed Project Dr. Betty Mwesigwa says development will be in phases. Our hope is that in five years we will be able to make tremendous progress towards uh, uh, new knowledge, innovative uh, products that could be used uh, in the development of an HIV vaccine. But we know that we have to have a product third or fourth year within these five years. And then we build on that. Benjamin Jumbe. NTV. Here the vaccine comes.